as it should always be. The foundlings are the future. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. And your life's a tough crowd and I ain't laughing at you fucking jokers You stuck in a rut, but bumping, getting up and over I want the smoke, but this room is full of non-smokers And y'all can spark a fire to water with burning smolder I'm staying focused, I would come back if I started over The odds are stacked against me and the weight is on my shoulder And you can show me all your cards like Indian poker I'm colder, that's beside the fact that I'm in Minnesota Who's flipping pebbles, but now I'm out here just slinging boulders and I don't take no shit from rappers who rap on their vocals Y'all can't really be doing that and tell me you're dope That's a no for me, you don't show respect for the culture Ain't no R. Kelly when I'm saying bump and grind I sacrificed a lot and lost a lot of ample time My mind is gone from all the thoughts that I jam inside I pray we go the right way when we plan to find This is the way All your dreams are staying your dream if you ain't acting this right This is the way Achieving it ain't easy as you fantasize This is the way You need to have the drop to match the appetite This is the way It takes a lot of hard work and self-sacrifice This is the way All your dreams are staying your dream if you ain't acting this right This is the way Achieving it ain't easy as you fantasize This is the way You need to have the drop to match the appetite This is the way It takes a lot of hard work and self-sacrifice I've lived this so only death can keep me from the path That I had chosen for myself to the completion of the task And once it's reached we run it back Jumping steeples, running laps Never settle for one success when there's another we can grasp Yeah, I'm built to last with standing pressures that can break them seas I've seen them coming fast and finish last and others taking me yeah. Some never chase the dream and place the failures blame on me Cause I ain't holding hands for no one's ass who waits complacently never. Cause why would I just idle by in their denial With someone who don't believe in anything like it's nihilism I hear them talk but I ain't trying to listen I got no try within them trying to waste your time until you're whining with them So if you're dining with them fine you can starve together Cause once I start I'm never starving I can march forever yeah. Through thunder clouds I'm grinding out throughout the hardest weather You fuck around you find shit out through every hardest This is ever. the way All your dreams are staying your dream if you ain't acting this right This is the way Achieving it ain't easy as you fantasize This is the way You need to have the drop to match the appetite This is the way It takes a lot of hard work and self-sacrifice This is the way All your dreams are staying your dream if you ain't acting this right This is the way Achieving it ain't easy as you fantasize This is the way You need to have the drop to match the appetite This is the way It takes a lot of hard work and self-sacrifice the way you picture it is rarely how it goes You expose the flaws in every plan you ever fail to know If you never plan to grow then what's the point of planting seeds Cause sunlight is not enough without the water that it needs It's a slaughter on your knees An execution from a buck shot at point blank range It's life changing like when luck stops And what not it's huge tips on a fly shorty But she'll never let you fuck you gon' die horny Chase the carrot this game takes the average And embarks them on a pair Pay for glass pain and havoc Pray for magic but stay late in practice You ever get your shot you better play make it happen They can have it but only if they beat me I take it to a depth that's cold and darker than the deep sea I speak free cause I mean it from my soul If you're trying to find a way that's everything you need to know This is the way All your dreams are staying your dream if you ain't acting right This is right. the way Achieving it ain't easy as you fantasize This is the way You need to have the drop to match the appetite This is the way It takes a lot of hard work and self-sacrifice This is the way This is the way This is the way This is the way Hey bro, are you from Castle Red Lake? This is ridiculous. Shut it up, man. Fuck bro! Holy fuck bro! <laughs> I fuck, fuck bro, man! Fuck my voice is gone! Yeah, this is another week, another episode of Fuck Bro, and this week we got lots of music to listen to, motherfuckers. So, just like we did last week, we're gonna kick it off with another brand new music video from the homie knowledge off of the fifth element this one is called gods of war um this one actually came out Holy before the other fuck, one bro. but uh i did not uh i did not see it and now i see it so it's like holy fuck bro <laughs> that one's dope yes it is <laughs> so yeah without that further ado 
for further blue goo. We're gonna get into this. Fuck, bro. Fuck, bro. That was Knowledge with the Gods of War music video off of the brand new project, The Fifth Element. You can catch the link for that below. Um, yeah. What do you guys think of that visual? Yeah. I thought it was pretty fucking dope, man. Uh, yeah, that was nice. That was fucking dope. I'm a big fan of that one. Yeah, I agree. I, I like the how the, each visual seemed to have like a a color tone that it more or less stuck to for the majority of the video. You know, like the, the unwanted one kind of had that barren feel. This one had like that fucking blade, <laughs> like everything's fucking dark, crazy fucking, you know, yeah. back alley yeah. feel. I like that. Yeah, me too. I wonder what that building that he was standing outside of was, but with the fucking signs on the door. 
<clears throat> I'm gonna have to fucking do some research. Gonna have to do some research. Yeah, video, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. So yeah, go check out that fucking go check out that fucking whole project. That project is dope. We got the honor to review it here on the Fuck Bro Podcast. You can find our comments on the entire project down below in the link. Because this week, hopefully I don't fucking hit for the cycle and get another fucking flu. I had COVID last week, so that's why you'll notice that uh, the thumbnail and all that shit was not fixed right away. Uh, I'll go back and fix last week's episode too here when I when I work on this one. So, um, yeah, it was... Uh, Fuck bro over there getting fictional diseases. Fucking right. That's what I'm saying, dude. I need to hit for the fucking What's next? flu cycle. Pixie measles? What is next, to be honest, is a song called Pixie Measles. It's the one that's an MP3, remember? Because we have all oh, the YouTube links, and then we have that one MP3. We have a few MP3s, but we have to mix them up. So we have to... Oh, well, you, yeah. li you lie to me. Yeah, yeah. So what is this one? This is T.A. with uh, Nobody Knows. And in, um, in parentheses, it says Ant for the Week, but I'm pretty sure they meant Ain't for the Week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they meant Ant for the Week as an Aunt for the Week. I forgot of you. You ever think about that? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm not very good with the literatures. Nobody knows twenty twenty three. Savage my vampire can take over. I've been watching them ply and they know I'm a beast. I came from the mud, now I'm riding these beats. They scared of my ride up and light up the heat. They scared of my ride up and light up the heat. I've been watching them ply and they know I'm a beast. I came from the mud, now I'm riding these beats. They scared of my ride up and light up the heat. They scared of my ride up and light up the heat. I've been playing this game, ain't no time for defeat. I took a couple L's, no one back on my feet. I've been feeling the pressure, they say for the week. I'll be making these moves every day of the week. Don't, don't fuck with me, I just want my little piece. But I guess that's the price you pay when you a boss. Don't fuck with me, you might get knocked off. I'm just plain, but we don't play at all. Hop on the phone and make a little call. I got the baddest bitches on my balls. Ain't nobody gotta get involved. I'm just trying to stretch my money long. You can see me flex my money phone. Have you ever seen a million? Fans got me tapped, can't talk on the phone. Let, let me smoke this loud pack, get back in my zone. I've been watching them ply and they know I'm a beast. I came from the mud, now I'm riding these beats. They scared of my ride up and light up the heat. They scared of my ride up and light up the heat. I've been watching them ply and they know I'm a beast. I came from the mud, now I'm riding these beats. They scared of my ride up and light up the heat. They scared of my ride up and light up the heat. A ask me no questions and hear no deceit. Pass me the blunt so I can light up and cheap. Now your bitch on my dick in the passenger seat. I'll be getting my cash while I'm smashing them cheeks. Dead, dead presidents, past tense, they deceased. Come Benjamin's blue face on the crease. I can see they hate on their face when I speak. I'm just trying to make a little cake. Tell it they get nice, shake and bake. Ricky Bobby flow when I race. Talk a little shit, get a race. Step up on the Reds, cold case. If you wanna catch a little fade, she told me that she go both ways. My fans gonna ride my wave. When I ride by, I'm a wave. I'm coming for the top first place. Better get out of my way. Land of the 10,000 lakes. I've been watching them ply and they know I'm a beast. I came from the mud, now I'm riding these beats. They scared of my ride up and light up the heat. They scared of my ride up and light up the heat. I've been watching them ply and they know I'm a beast. I came from the mud, now I'm riding these beats. They scared of my ride up and light up the heat. They scared of my ride up and light up the heat. Me nasty, who who that was with what? That was A T. 
with uh, what's that one called? <clears throat> Nobody he's knows. Hey, last time, didn't you? Yeah, he's yeah. I got, I, I, I got the list decks here. Okay, so nobody knows by AT. Uh, we'll, we'll go uh, counterclockwise on my screen. So we'll do bumping, Trister, Exodus, and then Nate Nasty. Bumping. Why don't you lead us off? Yeah, bumping. Okay, never mind. How about yo, yo, is that a porn on in this background? <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like a porn. There's a lot of flesh tones in that. <laughs> Your mic is not working. Yes, again. Okay. Bullshit artist! It's Jeepers Creepers too. Oh. But anyways. Um... Yeah, my daughter was just coughing all hard in the room. Yeah, that was produced by Low Cash, L O space C A S H. That's pretty dope. He reminded me a lot of the music uh, that was around like in 2010 and 2011, like the good local music. It's kind of what it reminded me of. Like the beat wasn't like. Uh, you know, super out there, you know, it was just kind of a chill beat and the way he was flowing to it was like uh like a slower choppy kind of uh you know, uh it's just kind of it's just like that's when I think of Midwest music or like you know like the north like Minnesota and shit. When I think of music from Minnesota, I think of like that kind of vibe that I got from there. And uh that's pretty dope. Uh, you know, as you could tell, he was from Minnesota and from the res and stuff. I don't know which one, but it's pretty dope. I'd, All of them. Uh, I'd say that was uh, a yeah for me. I'm going to go right. get this kid some water. Well, we technically cannot add that one to the playlist unless we get a YouTube link, so... Um, if this does end up getting a yes from the squad, make sure that you get us a YouTube link when that is uploaded. But I will kick it over to just the Exodus. Me. Woo! Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was all right, you know, for what it was. Once again, not my style. Um, I think the, man, I think the engineering could have used a little bit of help. Uh, but man, there was a lot of clever shit going on. Like, even with the beat and everything, like, I don't know, man. It was it was pretty slick. Oh, uh, uh, a, a T. He did his thing. Um, it's just it's just not my thing. That's all. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this, fuck, man. I don't know. I'm gonna say no, just because it's it's one that I don't really need to hear again. Um. And it's not even like, it's not even just because it wasn't my thing. It was just, I don't know. He didn't really say like a lot of impressive shit to me or anything like that. Um, the beat was, the beat didn't necessarily blow me away either. Like it was kind of cool, you know, like, like Bumpin said, you know, it kind of reminds me of, of a certain era, a certain feel. Um, <clears throat> where a lot of people were using those like more simplistic style beats and shit like that. The minimal beats, I guess, or whatever. Um, and I mean like, you know, some people did the minimal beats well, some people didn't. This minimal beat was done pretty fucking well. <clears throat> but I'm good. I'm good. Um, it had the strengths of the weaknesses. And because of whatever weaknesses, I'm just going to say no. I'm going to talking about it for the next fucking hour. So. All right. Well, then shut your fucking mouth. No, I'm just kidding. Nate Nasty. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, um, I dig that hook. Uh, the beat. I agree that it was it was really chill, but it was some shit that you can like absolutely cut loose on. Like the I wanted to hear more of the maybe you pick it up once or twice. I do agree that there was some low hanging fruit in there, but there was also some fucking punchlines that like I don't know. I, I, I dug them. Um let's see. Yeah, I I'm gonna give it a yes. Uh, cause, and what, what did it for me is like, there were really well placed beat drops. It wasn't like a constant, like thing. And that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
there's the and the dubs. I, I liked I liked what you were doing with the dubs. Um, yeah, I just like the verses came off a little basic, but you don't need to be like like to make a good song. You don't need to be like the most lyrical, even though I really do focus on that a lot. But this one, just what you did with the the hook and the dubs and shit, and and the beat really carried it for me. I want to hear more. Yeah, that's a yes for me. Um, I'm kind of in the same boat as Space, more so. Um, I'm sure you guys fucking probably could have guessed that. It's stylistically, not really my cup of tea, but um, I think what you did with it, man, I think you did your thing, and I think you did. Um, like it's not trash by any means. I think it's good. Um, I think it's solid for that lane of music. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's done well. Um, I do agree. Like the engineering, like it was weird. Cause I was like, man, like I was fucking with my, my inputs to make sure I didn't like fucking unplug my headset halfway or something. Cause I was like, why the fuck does this sound like some of the, like the beats not w mixed well with the vocals to me. Um, I think that there's a lot of like good engineering effects and stuff done to the vocals. Like I wouldn't say that the engineering is trash cause it's definitely a lot better than a lot of stuff that we've heard and stuff that I've heard in general. Like it's not like, I wouldn't say this is, oh, this is the first track this person's ever engineered because clearly they, they kind of have an idea of what they're doing, but I just think sonically it's missing something. Um, like those kicks don't really hit. There's a, I feel like a song like this and in this style would have really benefited from those kicks, like really thumping. Um, and I feel like that part of the mix was missing. Um, I thought the hook was clever. I think the hook could have used maybe a little bit more like layering or a little bit more of those clever effects for me personally. Um, but it was, it was a solid hook. Um, the verses were basic, but the rhyme scheme was good. Like you, your flow was solid throughout the whole song. Um, it's something that I would not personally seek out but for the playlist sake i would give it a yes if the engineering wasn't missing that um in a, an important piece for me like i think sonically things need to be to a certain level for me to feel confident saying like yes i want to put this on a playlist um but regardless man um it tie goes to the runner here on fuck bro so um two yeses and two no's equals uh it's going to go on the playlist if you get us a YouTube link for it. So um, appreciate you sending in the track. It's I definitely do want to hear more. I know we have a couple more in the chamber. I don't think we'll get to those this week. Um, but, but yeah. Oh, it, from the same guy? From the same guy, yeah. So we've got some more um, to check out from him, and I, I'm, I'm definitely excited to do so because I thought that that was, a, that was a pretty solid introduction, man. I don't think there was, a, there was anything wrong with that. I think it was a solid track, and I definitely uh, I want to hear some of your other stuff. Um, yeah, what do we got next, Nasty? Next up, we have uh, <coughs> let's see, Ooh. Dasty Trio with uh, Dasty. Big Strokes. Let's Big see strokes. if there's any features on it. I believe uh, these guys uh, were a couple of the people that were at the Looney Show uh, with Denku, me, and uh, they live so. Um, I will say this, guys, just to, to preface it, um, because I mentioned that show. Um, as you might have noticed I spent a lot of fucking time outside, but that's because I have zero tolerance for, for rapping over vocals. I spent Looney's entire set outside for the same reason. Um, you don't need that shit, man. Like, if you fucking love this, you love your music, fucking get that shit down. Especially this tree, you, man. Like... Rip that shit. The energy yeah. is so much yeah. fucking better. But I'm I'm really excited to hear uh, some of your music um, outside of that. So let's check this out. Yep. Yeah. Big strokes, big coke, 40, that's my life. Waking up every day to a palm tree sunrise. Y'all gassed up off some Facebook like. But I got no time for that fake ass hype. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing, I'm nuts in real life. Nothing on the season, heaven models for wife. I got that famous life, famous life. You can see it in my eyes. I prefer my women wide. Nine dreams of living life like I'm on a boat. 
Man, I swear I got the name everyone will know. Waking up every day to the birds and the bees. Eyes wide, stacking money, no more motherfucking struggling. Life sucks in the gutter, man, I got high hopes. Why you stressing from your life? I'm blowing hella smoke. You don't make plans, live your life on the week to week. While I'm waking up, a different girl lying next to me. Gorak is the name I put my demons on a pedestal. Trusting them more than I would ever trust a federal. Sifting through the roller decks of fake ass bitches. Looking back, seeing goats in my cloud smoke. Big strokes, big toes, 40, that's my life. Waking up every day to a palm tree sunrise. Y'all gassed up off some Facebook like. But I got no time for that fake ass hype. I'll tell you one thing, I'm nuts in real life Nothing on the season, having models for a wife I got that famous life, famous life You can see it in my eyes I prefer my women wide Not a future ex-wife, better have a shit fetish This gassy two T's and you know that he said this I put it in her pelvis and listen to Elvis What is this? I hit, I don't miss Send her on her way with a little kiss I'm in between them hips shaking and shit when I'm railing it She's never pissed when I'm railing it Smooth as tailing bitch, John you knit with Stassi He riffs, it's a graveyard shift And you know she totally digs this I'm all up in that clitoris You can't get rid of this I got her begging and shit Strokes, big toe, 40, that's my life Waking up every day to a palm tree sunrise Y'all gassed up off some Facebook like But I got no time for that fake ass hype yeah. I'll tell you one thing, I'm nuts in real life Nothing on the season, having models for a wife I got that famous life, famous life you can see it in my eyes. I prefer my women wide. Grilling, stealing, stealing. Got that feeling out here dealing. Think I'm stealing, catch me peeling. Cause I'm not up out here chilling. Type of bullshit. Get me rich quick. All the drive, you know that biz quick. Ray, gotta spend to get paid. Got a one ton brick. Man, that gold is fucking thick. And that shit is fancy. It's at the bank you wanna see. Now shouts and scream. Hey, Ray, come on. Let's, let's go, go get, get paid. paid. Yes, Want to make a movie? Not talking matinee, baby. Stripping down quick. Everything was going right got a zillion rings on and my swag was looking tight bling, bling. what the fuck's that supposed to mean strippers working all night you can watch my dick swing big strokes big toes 40 that's my life waking up every day to a palm tree sunrise y'all gassed up off some facebook like but i got no time for that fake ass hype yeah. i'll tell you one thing i'm nuts in real life nothing on the season having models for a wife i got that famous life you can see it in my eyes. I prefer my women wide. That was Dasty Trio with Big Strokes. So normally, when I do these, uh, when we do, well, when we do these, uh, I try to rotate who goes first, who goes last, who goes whatever. But just due to reaction sakes alone, I gotta hear from Bumpin first because he was. He was fucking involving crazily during that. I gotta hear what the man Bumpin thinks. Oh man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw you fucking cutting up over there, and I was like, I gotta know, man. I can't let you. I, I can't, can't let you tame you this. You went out for a cigarette for this. Right? <laughs> 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 Okay, man, I'm going to be straight up just because I've heard a lot of rappers like this, bro. <laughs> it's not like... <clears throat> All right. Honest reaction. Honest reaction. All right. Okay. I'm going to tell you what I thought. I'm going to tell you what I liked about it. I liked that there was three of y'all. So that means you guys need to get your lyrics off your shit when you perform it because we have a three guys me and nate and we have another member a uh, part-time member he'll jump in you know like, so we cover our lyrics so that's that's what i like even though you guys didn't do that yet but uh, you guys got that that potential for that but man dude <laughs> 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 uh <laughs> not like Oh. 
have you guys uh, checked at Wendy's or Burger King at all? Or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like... I don't know, man. Uh, you I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like you guys need to like go to more parties, get into fist fights or rap battles or you know, get out there, sell some drugs, you know, get some like <laughs> get your gangster up so you can come out of your voice. But right now, I don't know. I just I wasn't convinced. Um, and my voice is kind of gone anyways. You can hear that. But uh, yeah, something. Um, I'm usually the douchebag out of the group, so I'm going to say, yeah. <laughs> All right. Nate Nasty. I got to go to bed, man. I got to go to bed. Um, I was not crazy about the beat from the very beginning, and it did not grow on me. Um, verse one was funny, and I'm not sure if that was intentional. Um, and I thought verse one started where the hook was. Like, I, the, I'm gonna say the hook. The hook is entertaining, and for me, that's that's what makes the song. But I, I just don't think this was it, man. I just don't. I really don't think this was it. The flow. There's three of you. I could have swore there was two. Because two of y'all sound like exactly alike, or I don't know what the hell was going on. Um, yeah, but verse two sold me that this was definitely a parody song. Um, a parody of what? Again, I don't know. Uh, the one part of this song that I like was that you said you like your women white. <laughs> but that, that is not enough to save it. Guys. I that is say wide. Oh, like I like my women wide. I, I thought, he, I thought he said white. I thought he said white. So I. So Honestly, I. I wasn't really thinking about that part because right before that they were like, "What did he say?" <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, um. <laughs> so, <laughs> Um, but the fact that you said you like your woman white or wide, depending on what, what it was, or either way, it was not enough to save it for in my case. So it's a no for me. Jester Excellence oh. beats. Um Yeah, I don't know, man. It, it just it wasn't very good. At first so the beat I actually thought was the that waiting music on the fucking YouTube premieres or whatever. Like the subtle, I thought that's what that sample was. Um, I still don't know if it is or not. I don't really know. But, man, I, I swear to God, that's what that fucking sample was from. <clears throat> so I was like, man, that's that's clever. Because I think everybody who sits in those fucking waiting rooms waiting for a, a hip-hop track to premiere is like, yo, I'm going to fucking sample this shit. And somebody fucking did, if that's really what happens. Um, but for me, that was probably the most impressive part. I... uh I don't know, man. Like, there's more than just a couple moments in the track where you guys are off beat. Um, and I noticed, like, it happens quite a bit when the drums drop out. So I don't know if you guys lap to a metronome or not or a click track or whatever, but you should. Um, yeah, I don't know. It seems like you guys have energy, but it's like, I, I don't know. I'm trying to. Uh, I don't even know how to fucking explain it. It's like listening to, you know, like, when Weird Al did fucking Gangsta's Paradise, you know what I'm saying? Fucking uh, the Amish Paradise. Like, yeah. Weird Al just has that certain very Caucasian, very, uh, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to fucking explain it, man. I don't know what the term is. I don't know. I don't know. Je ne sais quoi. It's just, I guess. Yes. I think it's just that you guys didn't sound like you guys were good rappers. Like Yo, you guys Bumpin, rap. Don't ever disrespect me looking like a Palestinian refugee on our podcast. <laughs> I just want to take this second to point out that uh, we look like uh, 
a party of players <laughs> in in a Yakuza game. Like I'm the I'm the goon. Pesto's like the fucking buff guy, the guy who who buff, buffs the party. Uh, <laughs> this is the guy who's like a fashion designer and really good with scissors, and he'll cut your ass. And space will just beat your ass. <laughs> but these dudes, Man, I feel so lame compared to you guys. Now I need a fucking. <laughs> this is my sweat towels. Okay, because it'd be hot as fuck uh, over here now. <clears throat> Yeah, so I don't know, man. I, no, my my answer is no. It just wasn't Fair good, enough. man. Like, yeah, I so I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this uh, kind of in a similar way. Um, I do see the potential to me as like what this was. Uh, it reminded me slightly of Lonely Island, but far less polished. I feel like it was missing like like it definitely had the the humor factor. Like I can tell, like you guys probably have really good sense of humors. Um, so I hope you don't take this like super fucking, you know, get really offended at, at everything we're saying here. Cause ultimately what we're trying to do is uh, give everybody the honest feedback um, from not only artists, but also people that listen to a lot of hip hop music and just music in general, cause all of us do. Um, and I think that there, there was a considerable amount missing from this track for me. Um, I thought the beat was, the beat was all right. The beat didn't bug me at all. I didn't think the beat was like lame or anything like that. I thought the beat was I. Right. Um, I think the hook was probably the best part of the song to me as far as what you guys did. And I still think it needed a little bit. Like, I think it needed a little bit of polish, um, primarily in like what Space is saying with like stuff not lining up um, with the beat as well as it could. Um, and also the other thing too is the whoever the third guy is that raps like the third verse, his mic sounds so vastly different. The quality of his recording sounds so different than the other two um, that like mix wise, it just doesn't blend as well as it, it should, I think for having three of you guys on there. Cause I do think that I agree with bump. And I know like he said it in a very simple way, having three of you guys, I think that's a, um, it does make some things harder because you're pulling in three directions, but at the same time, like for both performance things for energy, and then even for like doing hooks like this, I like that you guys incorporate each other in not only the, the hooks, but I think that like some of the ad libs and stuff, like I think that's clever. And I think doing stuff like that is definitely the way to maximize what I think you guys are going for, like as a group. Um, I think it's just missing a little bit of polish. Like I think, uh, like getting the bars down, like low hanging fruit, even like some of the like pelvis and Elvis and like the, the first word you think of to rhyme doesn't necessarily have to be the one that you use. Like um, I'd like to see a little more creativity from the bars um, and a little bit more polish from the flows on this. Um, but I think the, the sense of humor is there. I think the, the energy is there. Um, I think it just needs a little bit of direction and, uh, you know, like practice and yeah. commitments to, to really kind of bring out what I think you guys are capable of and what you guys are ultimately, you know, trying to go for it and, and uh, get out of people. Because, yeah, I after hearing that, I will be completely honest with you guys. I don't regret spending that time outside smoking from the, the pesto peace pipe. Um, yeah, one, because, like I said, it doesn't matter. You could be fucking goddamn... Aesop Rock, fucking Sean Price, anybody. You could be the fucking greatest rapper alive if you're rapping over your vocals, pestos outside. So it's kind of, it's like the rap voice. You guys need to polish the rap voice a little more because it sounded like you guys are reading it out of the paper. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, or yeah, the delivery. I, th I think that's what it is. The delivery just needs a little bit of work, and and it's not even the voice to me. Like your voice is it's your like voice the way they enunciate whatever, the, the words. Right, it's the way you know, yeah, the it, words, the it's, way it flows, it, I think it's missing. It almost sounded right. like it was the very first time you read those words, like you didn't write it or something. Yeah, or you like you just picked up a piece of paper and like this it. is a song. And you know? full disclosure, yeah. like just to, to so that you guys can understand it too, like I write a lot of music. These guys will tell you all of that. I think everybody in this this call writes a lot of music. Um, there's times when I'm like I first write something and I'm trying to deliver it, and it sounds like fuck. And it takes me like sitting there and practicing it to get it, getting it to flow the way that I want it to flow and the way that it flows in my head. Everybody's like, got it, their own. 
hey, everybody's got their own process, but I think that you guys got to put a little bit more into that and, and get that polish out of that um, before putting the stuff out there. Because, like, I, I do think it has potential, but I think it needs a considerable amount of work. So, yeah, I'm also going to give it a no, but um, I definitely would like to, to hear more stuff. Um, I tried, you guys. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What do we got next, Nasty? Yeah. You're muted, by the way. Next up, we got uh, Brody Dudester with Full of Baloney featuring Jada UK. Brody Full of Baloney featuring Jada UK. Brody! <laughs> Hi, my name's Fuck Bro. Fuck Bro! I want to hear some more Noxus disses. That was full of baloney featuring Jada UK by Brody Dudester. Nate Nasty. Um, verse, verse one with the punch ins, though. Uh, all right, so the hook was fucking funny, dog. <laughs> like, 
very it, like incredibly like basic but fucking funny um this makes me think you know like a dasty and brody dudester collab seems like the right fucking move on both parts i need to hear it i'm not I cannot guarantee that i'll vote a yes on it um but yeah, verse three almost saved it. And one thing I noticed about verse three was, uh, at least what I thought I noticed, I don't know, was uh, homie's accent didn't really kick in until like halfway through the verse or like a good portion in there. I feel. Yeah, that's just you, bro. I heard it the whole time. Oh, damn! I'm tripping. Then must be the yeah. Love that um, accent. Cast Lake. I guess I'm full of baloney. Must be the cycle of Oh. But um, yeah, trunks with the sauce, don't beat. Uh, verse three wasn't enough to save it, and neither was the fact that um, the beat was was absolute fire. Uh, so no for me, dog. I be bumping. Yeah, that was like a leveled up, polished version of the last track we heard. Like, dude, that was a huge step up. I don't know if it's because of the last track. No offense <coughs> to the Chico dudes, but uh, yeah, that was that's what you should be sounding like. Because like Brody, like, like he doesn't have like a dope ass rap voice but he just at least sounds like you know he knows what you know what i mean like he's convincing when he's rapping uh that chorus was fire and with the beat like that first verse uh that i started really getting into it because uh the way he was rapping to the beat and like how the beat complemented with it and uh but like just the 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 chorus was and then the homie from uk he had a good verse uh it was a huge step up from the last track so just on that alone i'm gonna say yeah but also brody that was dope uh thanks for submitting that song and i thought that was fire Jester Exodus beats. Man, I, I don't know. I, I wasn't, I wasn't impressed at all. <laughs> there was, man, there was a. I don't remember what the fucking line was, but there was something that, that made me laugh. But that was like about it. Um, Is it when he counted? No. No, there, there. I, I know. I kind of, fuck. I know what you're talking about because I, I heard it too, and it was. It was a good it, bar. Though, it was in the it? it was in the second verse. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, like the I don't know the engineering wasn't wasn't there for me, um, and I don't know. I'm just I don't know. I think I'm I'm moody with like the fucking the the satire and the humor and shit like that. Like I don't know, man. I'm just I'm just not all into that shit. <clears throat> and the the third dude, J, Jada, was that his name? Jada, Jada, Jada UK. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's nice. I mean, he's he's fucking nice. But I feel like he didn't understand the assignment. He, he just came like, I don't know, spitting like aggressive and snapping and flexing and with bars and shit, which um, I, I don't know. Like, usually, you know, when you have multiple people on, multiple people on a track, you know, they're all doing their own thing. It's it's cool, but like, I feel like Brody really set the fucking tone. You know what I'm saying? The first verse, the hook. The second verse, the hook. Like, and then the dude comes in like super fucking serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I feel like he could have did a lot more to compliment the track as well. Um, but I mean, he's he's nice with it though. You know, and even even Brody's nice in his own way. It's just it's he's just not my 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 cup. Couple, couple Joe, Joe, Joe. Couple Joe. 
Kapo Chow. Kapo Park Bro. Chow. Kapo Malto Mio. Yeah, Park Bro. I'm going to give it a no. A no. no. Space is doing no. all dinosaurs in the background with shadows. So you know he's serious. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> we got to pull a friend. Get the other Scotty on the line. Uh, yeah. Um, what's my life like? <laughs> So yeah, I uh, I honestly that was something I'm glad that Space mentioned because like I felt the same way about like the the track felt like a satire and then Jada uh, came in and and bro the verse was dope like the bars are dope his delivery is dope all that stuff but it just didn't feel like it fit the theme of the track and for me as like a listener like that's something I really do look for like I like the complimentary vibe of it so i think that part was missing a little bit for this particular track um i thought the hook was was solid but it was like the thing that i didn't like i didn't like the three two one and one two three part of it i wish you would have come up with something a little more clever to to fill in those parts because i thought the yeah, the I other he could have too you know what i'm saying like Brody's right what you, clever Brody's clever yeah so i like I think what do you want him to count to four no, oh, I just yeah. not counting. Like I thought that that was just like low hanging fruit. I would have liked to have him say some other ridiculous shit. Like he's pro. Why to say. is everybody always picking on me? Like right. I liked. I yeah. I liked that part. Hook. I liked. Yeah. See, that's yeah. the thing. I liked all the other parts of the hook except for the three, two, one, one, two, three part. Um, I thought that that was a little basic for my taste. Um, especially for Brody. Like if Brody's anything to me as a listener, it's not basic. So it's like, that's the one thing that like, whether it's a track that I like or a track that I don't like for Brody, the one thing that I can always take solace in is that it's not going to be basic. It's going to be fucking out there creative. and it's going to be creative. It's going to be him. It's going to be a full display of like, he's obviously not afraid to be himself on the track. And I like that a lot. And I felt like that, that's the one part that was missing that part of it. But I do think like, his verses sounded a lot more polished. Like, I understand, like, Nate said something about punching. Whatever. I don't care about punching. Like, the audio quality sounds better at the end of the day. Um, I think that if that was engineered a little bit better, you wouldn't have even noticed there were um, so many punch-ins. And, like, some of the fucking dopest spitters that we know punch in all the time. So, it's like... I, I punch in all the time. So, it's like, that's yeah. something that isn't going to uh, pull me... I mentioned it because it was super obvious. Right, yeah, so that's, I think it's, it was more it on, obvious. No. It was more on a <laughs> yeah, an engineering side um, uh, for that. But I don't think honestly, I think overall the engineering on this track was was a higher level than a lot of the stuff that we've heard that we've had problems with the engineering with as well. So I think that like it was, um, man, this one's like kind of a fringe choice for me. But I think like man, as as dope as I think Jada is, because I think he's fucking really really dope i think of all the people that you've brought to us as featured artists with you i think he's the dopest one in my opinion or at least he's the one that i've liked the most but i think that yeah. like his him being off topic just kind of it pulls me out of the um you know like because i'm cool with listening to a satire track and having yeah. something that's a little bit more comedic but i think it, it pulls me out of that headspace to have something a little bit more serious and feels like it's like it's disrupting my brainwaves. You know what? So. You know what I'm thinking is, Jada probably died. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he probably bought Jada's verse, maybe from Anno Domini. Anno Domini, yeah. yeah. Legion uh, beats. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. I think it was in that Chris Gallagher pack. The Jada yeah, verse. Yeah. <laughs> the Legends pack. So yeah, I, I I'm I'm yeah. gonna have to give it a no, but it's borderline. It's it's uh, pretty fucking close for me, but it's just not quite there. So I can't I can't be the vote that pushes it over the edge because I don't like. I it must be a Brody much. fan because. No, I, I don't like. I, I don't. I'm not like. It's not one. It's not a note where I'm like. I can't believe somebody gave this a yes. Like, catch me on a different day. I'm giving that track a yes, but it's like today. I'm just not. Not I'm feeling it enough. The tracks to before over. Brody's, like the, what are those dudes' names again? The Trico. I don't know. Trio. Dast Regardless. Dast yeah, Dasty Trio. Regardless. <clears throat> what do we got next, Nate? Man, I I don't want to do this. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is um uh 
to the YouTube channel's initiative mark. Uh, Kaiju Love featuring Noodle Raps. Okay. This is, uh, this is, uh... Produced by Tap Daddy oh, Beats. Produced by Tap Daddy Beats. Who, okay. Start over. Who is this? Just it doesn't say. Name. It just says um, Kaiju Love featuring so like, Noodle Raps. His name's Mark. I don't know what his rap name is. Because it's been it, a long time. It says time, Initiative but was, Mark. Yeah, that's his, uh, that's his YouTube channel name, but I don't remember what his rap name is. He was somebody that was consistently winning a lot of the Tap Daddy Beats uh, rap cypher competitions. So he's he's uh, um, he's somebody that I, I've, I've heard before, and he definitely... Um, I love Kaiju, so... He's got some skills, so... Yeah, let's check out Kaiju Love Future New oh. Raps, produced by Tap Daddy Beats. Don't tell me what to do. In a society where we don't belong, together close or strong. I love you. It was hella dope how you went and leveled Tokyo. Your inspiration fills the hole in my lonely soul. The way your breath explodes, flames are rolling smoke. Smell the wreck, get your aroma through my nose, makes endorphins glow. You wrote the dope, my heart truly like no one knows. I yearn to be together, you and I coast to coast. When we can redefine the odds, eat some human folks. You make my heart skip a beat, truly losing no. That time I got shot by the soldier's drone You ripped it out the sky, threw it at its own controls Killing all inside, dooming the whole patrol And we locked eyes, no, it was a moment, bro That I decided to be by your side as a bride If any government denies to have us divide I'll drag the Washington Monument from whence it resides To the Capitol building and shove it inside I surely hope you know just how much I admire How you make helicopters head to ground like pile drivers And make boats explode, landing when the moon is low We find the most beautiful Fighting beside you. Truth is, you're super cute for a kaiju. Too soon for an I do. Oh man, you know I'm so over Rodan. You go ham when you level the city with a precision and rhythm which is incredibly pretty. You got that soft touch and finesse, got me acting groggy. Wide eyes, nice smile, and a cracking body. Gosh darn, I just wanna give you ten tickles. Cause you get the fire burning in my ventricles. Take me to the place where all the fishes swim We're getting close, you can show me your Pacific Rim Each week you sweep me off my feet easily Reckon cell towers, don't you leave me with that re-receipt Weak around the knees like the military that we defeat Bro, I know I need you, I'm hoping that you needed me Is it crazy if I take you on a rampage? Get another thousand humans in our fan base Together we can take on any huge army See our love swell, cause it's a tsunami My kind you, I in you That was Kaiju Love featuring Noodle Raps by the homie Mark. I know him as Mark on my friends list. I will definitely uh, figure out what his rap name is again. It's just been so fucking long since we've done those that I, I, I totally 
God damn, it's like on the tip of my fucking tongue. I'm like trying to think, and I'm like, God, man, that's not it. That's not it. Um, space case. I'll let you start us off. What do you think? Um, uh, it was, it was, it was clever. Um, it was actually pretty fucking clever. Plus, it was nice, like hearing, you know, like hearing the topic and the fucking subject matter and all that shit. And I mean, hearing it like stuck to, uh, or hearing. Hearing these motherfuckers stay on point, you know what I'm saying, all the way through the track, because there was there was two people, right? Yes. There was two different people on there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Some sometimes their flow was fucking on point. Like sometimes their flow was practically flawless, but other times I don't know. It just didn't seem like it was hitting where it was supposed to. Um. Uh, I don't know the the hook. Like it's cool hearing like the harmony on the hook and shit like that. Um, but it almost sounds like once, once again, it just kind of sounds like there were almost like too many words that they tried to fucking cram together in that hook, uh, especially with it being like such a nice, you know, soft fucking chill melodic type hook. Like it just, I don't know, man, it's just some of it just sounded cramped. Like they were trying to rush, um, rush to say everything. You know what I'm saying? Um, definitely signature tap daddy style. Like that's a beat where you could have. You could have told me it was Pesto was producing it, and I would have been like, bullshit, that's a fucking Tap Daddy beat. Like, I mean, that fucking sounds like Tap Daddy. Plus, I mean, I guess with the tag at the end, that gives it away as well. But, uh, you know, man, I'm going to vote no, just because there were, there were some, some weak points to me that just, I don't know, man, it just, it just threw me out of the fucking zone. Before I take um, the full full screen off of Jester Exodus, I just want to say, tell me you've never listened to MF Doom without telling me you haven't listened to MF Doom, and then people screenshot this part. I'd be bumping. Well, <clears throat> I just I want to give props to whoever did the artwork, though. That was, that was pretty slick. The way they put that together and shit. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think that's say yes or no. You did say no. You already yeah. said no. Okay, good. Do you want to say it again? No, because I was going to change it to yes, but. Change it to yes. Hell yes. No. You were, were elab. No, you were elaborating on it still. Pesto just cut you off. What? Oh. Oh. My turn? Yes. All right. Well, you can already tell I like this song. Uh, when I heard Kaiju Love, I wasn't thinking like Kaiju Love, like Diddy Love, but Kaiju still love. a dope song. <laughs> it still had like a subject. I liked the references. Uh, I'm a. Um, Big Kaiju fan, and I was picturing uh, that was like, I want to say that was like Godzilla, you know, he he ate like a bunch of like weed. He ate like a, a fucking uh, a bunch of weed or something, and he was just, you know walking around and the missiles are flying at him and he's just like picking up towers and using as a back scratcher <laughs> like i was picturing it i was picturing the song while monsters are destroying the city and it worked so and i, I really like the clip at the end too uh, <laughs> and when you said annabelle i was like oh shit like annabelle you know but it was a good thing it was a dog, you know, that it was a dog. But uh, <laughs> uh, I like it. And, yeah, it did have the MF Doom vibes to it, definitely. Or, like, some fucking, uh, it reminded me of, uh, uh, yeah, MF Doom's uh, pretty good, like, uh, vibe um 
Delve, Funky Homo Sapien. That's another good one, yeah. That's another like they kind of had like that vibe. Uh, yeah, it was it was dope. I liked it. It was nice. Uh, I'm gonna give it a yeah. Nathaniel Nasty. Um, at first I thought it was weird. It, it threw me for a loop, but then it grew on me, and it as it just became more and more delightful. <laughs> uh, I'm also a huge fan of all the fucking references, um, and the the way that they were used were clever. Like she's gonna show me her Pacific Rim, like like that one really, <laughs> that that one fucking sent me. Uh, the visuals, like for me, I don't know if they were blurry for anybody else, but they were really blurry for me, so I couldn't make out all the drawings. Um, and that could just be on my end, but. Um, yeah, I, it's a, it's, I'm, I'm really on the fence about this one, but I think what saved it is the dog. I fucking love that. That show is charm. That show is character. Were you and genuinely like, on the fence? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So you're giving it a Yes. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to come right out of the gate and say yes as well. Um, not that it would have mattered because two, two is enough to make it on the playlist. Um, honestly, the only thing for me is the volume was not – I wish it was louder. Like I, mix, I wish the mix was a little bit louder because I, I turned my interface all the way up and it was still um, just a mic quiet on my side. So – um, I would have liked it to be a little bit louder because um, I thought it was it was mad clever. Um, I think that, yeah, stylistically, like, I understand um, where space is coming from with, like, saying that, like, okay, you're trying to fit too many words here and here and, and there. Um, I've heard enough of you rapping to kind of understand that that's more of a stylistic choice than it is um, an inability to, to flow because um, I've heard you do both. Um, and I, I think that you've always kind of been at your best when you're telling a, telling a story. Like that's something that I've always kind of uh, associated with you as an artist um, is, is the storytelling ability. Um, and I thought that the, obviously none of us fucking expected that the track was going to be about, you know, fucking Kaijus, which is hilarious. Like very, I very mean, funny. Um, not just fucking, and, but loving them. The and the Kaiju though. Well, I mean, who doesn't like big, monstrous women? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was gonna Art say. Girl. Um, but yeah, I, I thought it. I thought the, the references were really, really clever. I thought that the the, the feature came through, um, and he had some cleverness too. I think that you know you guys complimented each other well on that, and it was a, a really good showing of um, you know deciding you want to make a song about this and sticking to it and, and really fucking nailing it. Um, I thought the art was clever. Uh, I like pretty much everything about it, except for I wish it was a little bit louder. Um, beat was fucking fire. Um, like Space said, definitely a signature Tap Daddy beat sound. Um, but yeah, definitely an interesting one. I'm, I'm, uh, definitely want you to continue to send us more music because uh, I think that uh, you definitely got, got the skills um, and uh, you always... You always throw us for a loop, uh, or throw through us for a loop. I remember when we used to listen to your music, so um, I'm excited that the guys got to listen to this. Um, and it, it was kind of the perfect fucking choice, because, yeah, this is like, Bumpin' is... You would have had to really fuck up to have Bumpin' say no to a song about Kai Juice, but, uh, but you fucking came through, and uh, I think you fucking did this one justice. And, uh, yeah, we'll definitely be adding that to the playlist. Without further ado, Nay Nasty, what do we got next? Next up, we have Ray Real with uh, Famous. Ray Real, Famous. Look at my baby. Cousin. Ray Real is the fan that had us out at uh, the Midwest Mayhem uh, Grind Mode Cipher event out in uh, Sandwich, Illinois, where everybody was talking about sandwiches the entire night, and I never found a single fucking sandwich. Is hey, true. there was a Chinese buffet. That Chinese you loaded up on us like the they building. were they were closing when you walked in and they're like they saw your ass walking and they're like oh no you want to pray I like, our, our prayers have been answered they came was, came down with a sudden case of kaiju love there was a fucking, is fucking huge 
big white fucking kaiju. Bumpin' looks like Shimu <laughs> off a of Timu. Uh, Jester Exodus, are you are you there or are you? Okay, he is Fuck there. Bro. Fuck bro. Fuck bro. All right, all right. Brody let's, got uh, him. Let's hear this. <laughs> Brody got him. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Put on for my city, why they mad because I made it Hate to throw a shade, but when they see me, they don't say shit I suggest you go and find somebody you can play with Shake it dangerous, i make you famous I ain't with that talking, so be careful what you say. And if we got a problem, we can meet up on the pavement I'm really with the shits and this ain't just for entertainment Shake it dangerous, i make you famous Back up in this busy, better get lit I steal the show, ass kicking all that trap shit, dog in this rap shit, I'm invincible. Y'all better put her up and kiss my ass under the mistletoe. Cause ain't no competition, I'ma get stressed out like a cinephobe. Cap like I ain't put y'all on, unalive every fucking song. Brought them all up like elevation, that's that upper echelon. Gotta work out like Gordon Track, built it all brick by brick like Shaq. Laid it out hit by hit, that's facts. 88 might go check my set. No second chance for the first impressions. Ain't them star, gotta count them lessons. I'm finna blow this bitch and roast you squares like it's a smoking session. Major pain like David Wayne, feast on beef, you see the game. Parker melt and melt and I ain't playing games. I ain't a killer, but don't push me, man. I swear to Pac. And if you shut your mouth and listen, you might learn a lot. I'm just getting started, pussy. So sit back and watch. Man, it's small potatoes. This is tater tots. Put on for my city. Why they mad because I made it? Hate to throw a shade, but when they see me, they don't say shit. I suggest you go and find somebody you can play with. Shake it dangerous. I make you famous. I ain't with that talking, so be careful what you say. If we got a problem, we can meet up on the pavement. I'm really with the shits and this ain't just for entertainment. Shake it dangerous. I make you famous. So what the fuck you thought it was? They found them something sweet Come on and get your candy, motherfucker I'ma take your shit It's rare for to get this shit on Murder the beast that I've been on Body to buried in this cemetery I'll pass it up with my pen on I spit raw when this clip talks I'm shitting on they show I'm ten tall to that pinfall I've been raw, so let's go Straight whack job, but I snap off Go black, rob, I mean roll I'm unruly, just hot glue He's like cool, let me clear my throat No laugh, I'm having no comedy Ray real finna make it hard to breathe If you want the smoke, and I brought the weed Forest fire, burn all the trees Rotten pieces, just fall asleep When I cut up on the track like surgery so Curse the birds when I bird the beast Play any motherfucker wanna pop with me Cause I ain't with that yak and I can stack it I'ma plead the fifth If you don't like the way I'm moving You can suck a dick You ain't hanging with the stars Until you earn your stripes Me and the fam be doing numbers Like we roll the dice Put on for my city Why they mad because I made it Hate it though in shape But when they see me they don't say shit I suggest you go and find somebody You can play with Shake it dangerous I make you famous I ain't with that talking So be careful what you say And if we got a problem we can meet up on the pavement I'm really with the shits and this ain't just for entertainment Shit get dangerous, I make you famous Put on for my city, why they mad because I made it Hate to throw a shade, but when they see me they don't say shit I suggest you go and find somebody you can play with Shit get dangerous, I make you famous I, I, I ain't with that talking, so be careful what you say if, if, if we got a problem, we can meet up on the pavement I'm really with the shits and this ain't just for entertainment Shit get dangerous, I make you famous <laughs> Motherfucking real music, boy. Uh, great real. Let's go. Cheers. That was Famous by Ray Real, and before we get into the reviews, I want to say that this episode is sponsored by Pesto's Pocket Lighters. Does somebody have a lighter that you want to be your lighter? Well, just hire Pesto's Pocket Lighters for a small fee. He will pocket that lighter for you and slide it over to you on the real. They nasty. That's my fucking lighter. <laughs> <laughs> You fucking waited all week for this shit. <laughs> you fucking bastard. <laughs> Yo, this track, I, I really like this track. Ray Real, you, you fucking did your thing on this one. Um, 
Yeah, sure. like the hook, the hook. I mean, I feel like at the end, I wanted another verse. I feel like at the end, um, doing the hook extra, I don't kind of, kind of took away from its power, personally, in my opinion. But um, I mean that like it's a dope track, man. I, I like it. The bars are there, the punchlines. There's a Milton Bradley one in there that I really liked. Um, yeah, I fucks with it. So it's a yeah from Nate Nasty. I'd be bumping, grinding his teeth over there in his Pajmino. Okay, okay. Yo, yo, can you hear me? Yes. Yo. I liked it. Um, like, there's a lot of people that try to chop and sound bad, but like you could tell Ray Real knows what he's doing. And then like the parts where he slowed down and the beat, like the beat, like the percussions and shit, like left and then it just kind of emphasized a bit and then it came in with that chorus again like that's definitely a track i you know i feel like i'd be you know riding around listening to uh i thought it was pretty dope um it was uh pretty sick um i can't get over the fact pesto was ballsy enough to pull on Nate's lighter. You know what happened last time? Nate thought I had that lighter. Fuck it. Like, what the fuck is my lighter? Fuck it. What the fuck is my lighter? Blah, blah, blah. And then I just like, fell out of his pocket. Oh, shit. My bad, bro. <laughs> just kidding. No, I but I remember listen. one time he was like, don't pocket my lighter. He's <laughs> lying. I didn't apologize. <laughs> I just stayed angry, no matter the amount of evidence or facts that were presented to me. Yeah. I was like, here, just take my lighter. And he just slapped this bitch against the wall. <laughs> you know, you know, like rappers on Facebook. He <laughs> 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 just blew up when he hit the wall. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jester X is uh, Oh, yeah. I'll say, yeah. I'll say, yeah. Ray Real, that was dope. Hell yeah. Jester Exodus. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm just. <laughs> I don't know if I'm having a shitty day. I don't know He's if, these, on if, one. These head, if these headphones just make everything sound like shit, but like. Well, I mean, it's, <laughs> this track didn't necessarily sound like shit. Like. But there were things in the engineering that, that definitely. I feel like should have been better. Like. I don't know, man. I feel like these headphones are pretty fucking nice, actually. But I don't know, like, the bass, like, I feel like with this type of beat and everything, like, the, a lot of the energy comes from the bass, and, like, the bass just wasn't fucking cutting through like it was supposed to. And shit like that. Ray Real, like, his vocals, I don't know, like, they, they seemed pretty fucking loud. Um, that's all I don't know, man. There were just things in the mix that just weren't sitting right. <laughs> But man, Ray Real definitely he he did his thing. He's another one, man, where he just sounds polished. You know, like he sounds like he knows what the fuck he's doing. Uh he hits the beat from multiple fucking angles, different sides. Um a beat with like this type of energy and shit, like, you know, he carries the energy throughout the fucking verses and whatnot, but like tones it down for the hook. Um, which I don't know, like a lot of people I think would have been the opposite if they would have fucking toned down any of it at all, you know. Um I don't know, it's it's not my style of track, you know. It's not I don't know, man, but there's, there's a lot of strong points on this fucking track. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a yes. Hell yeah. Um yeah, I thought I thought the whole track was was solid. I actually now that you mentioned it I I do agree with like I wish the bass would have would have slapped a little bit harder, um, but that could also be like a situation where these headphones, this situation, it being streamed. I know it definitely does take away from audio quality in a lot of a lot of facets, so um, I won't judge that aspect of it too harshly. Um, I think this was also another really good example of you know what we mentioned earlier about punching it. it was like clearly like in the first. You know, in his verses, like, he's chopping, he saves shit so fast. Like, he definitely punched in. 
but it's fucking smooth. Like it, it's the yeah. you can tell like he fucking knows what he's doing. He's very well practiced, rehearsed. He fucking takes his time to really fucking hammer shit out, and he cares about the quality of his product at the end of the day. Um, and when you do that, you end up with a song that's like a lot more widely. Um, I don't want to say accepted because that's not necessarily the word, but it's like it, it's something that a lot more people. It's gonna appeal to a lot more people. It's got a lot more mass appeal. Um, and I think that he definitely has that um, that kind of style to him. Like, he's definitely more on the, the the edges of, I don't want to say mainstream, because he's definitely not mainstream. He still says a lot of, like, he's very um, true to the, the hip-hop core, but it's, like, a little bit more in that, like, I could hear this getting played on the radio. I could hear this getting played in a club kind of situation where it's, like, I don't I don't see a lot of our music making it to that <laughs> that that part of the, right. the world because it's just not the style of music that we make but um i i yeah. do like to hear when i do hear music in this style i like to hear it being done justice and, and still having lyrical content still having um you know the, the things that make the culture what it is you know so it's like i i'm absolutely happy to to see um people like ray real people like that that when they're making that you know like they're in that lane of music doing hip hop a service by, by doing it right and fucking really putting in the fucking work um, and, and really fucking holding it down. Um, I thought this track was lyrically sound. I thought it was, um, like Space said, with it kind of toning down on the hook, I thought that was clever. It made the hook very, very catchy. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think the only thing that I, I would agree, like the bass not cutting through in my headphones is something I could have I could have used more of. And I wish there would have been a third verse because I thought this was a track where the verses were all very strong, um, and it and it could have used another verse and it wouldn't have wouldn't have felt like the track was too long. Like I thought everything he was doing was dope, um, but but yeah, no, it's definitely definitely a yes for me, um, and a fucking honor to say after almost halfway through the show, fuck bro, fuck bro, fuck bro, fuck bro, for the first time. Tonight. Uh, that was going on the playlist. Fuck bro. Fuck bro. Uh, Fuck bro, fuck bro. Hell yeah. Fornicate, brother. Fornicate, brother. Yeah. No diddy. No diddy yet. What do we got next? Uh, Nate Nasty? Uh, a Citrus, the Drunken Prophet. Featuring Symbolic with Space Time. So this is a, another brand new artist to us. This is actually Citrus. He's the homie down in Arizona. He actually works with our brother Mars One. So, um... I'm excited to to hear uh, what he's got here. Space time featuring symbolic. Let's go. That intro though. Yeah, I need to turn your YouTube volume up a little. I fellowship Holy my fuck. two lovely lovers, this yeah, music fuck. and the one I kiss. Prajra is primordial, my mother, I'm the son of it. Free of time, I'm constantly becoming it. Leave it into reality from the womb of totality. Start it over. The ceaseless, a god in the gallery. A fabricated ground. Start it over. <laughs> Sorry about that, we had some audio issues. We're gonna start that one over so we can hear it all. I was like, I like this. Dude, I busted over. my headset and I don't know why YouTube is so fucking loud to me. Yeah, it's definitely on your side. Yeah. Like I realized that with has it been that quiet the whole time? Not that quiet, finished? but yeah. they've all been on the quieter side, so it makes sense as to why the YouTube stuff has been quieter. So you turned it down after those Trico dudes, huh? So, Mark, I, I apologize. During. Your shit was probably right on point volume-wise. It was just a us issue. But, but yeah, let's hear this one. It's time to make time bend. 
go flux capacitor, I do it with my brain stem. Knowing that the truth in time, empty and irrelevant and permanent, like the marrow in my skeleton. Only thing relevant, my family and my fellowship, my two lovely lovers, this music and the one I kiss. Bradra is primordial, my mother, I'm the son of it. Free of time, I'm constantly becoming it. Labored into reality from the womb of totality. A piece of the ceaseless, a god in the gallery. A fabricated ground of being a luminous nature, encompassing the marvelous and Enlightened behavior from linear to spherical thoughts. Lotus born material on a cereal box. When I await the frost of flakes, I'm made elated. It's innate, no nirvana nor hell, just the path that I take. Uh. Great minds will always think alike. Thick as thieves, citrus is symbolic, go together like space. Time forever intertwined. Sent to blow your mind like the intricate design of the bass line, the pulse of the divine. We keep our fingers on it as we sip the finest wine from the great vine. A chance to see the signs. The alcoholic prophets bring the beauty for the blind. I began with a bang, now every atom bears my name across the boundless planes of light. My range can't be contained. Every sight a man has claimed falls strictly under my domain. Swat that you squat. Best not forget who kept your ass about the rain. The metaphysical maestro composing cosmic holiness. I render obstacles obsolete and every is erroneous. The silence is harmonious. The reverb of distant loneliness echoing in the darkness. Infinite, the intimate brush with only dust. The mental pushes into three dimensions unforeseen. Kinetic energy converts to action, shaping life and forming dreams. No line of sight is what it seems in this eternal chamber bending lots of physics to exhibit my exquisite nature ignore the borders look before us by these very minds live by my accord as i transcend imaginary lines with so much room to breathe there's more beyond what you perceive don't ask me to give you space because from birth that's what you have received great minds will always think alike thick as thieves citrus and symbolic go together like space time forever intertwined sent to blow your mind like the intricate design of the bass line the pulse of the divine we keep our fingers on it as we sip the finest wine from the great vine A chance to see the signs The alcoholic prophets bring the beauty for the blind Space, time, forever intertwined Space, time, forever intertwined Space, time, forever intertwined Space, time, forever intertwined In the great vine, forever intertwined Space, time, forever intertwined In the great vine, forever intertwined Space, time, forever intertwined In the great vine, forever intertwined Intertwine space time. forever intertwine in the great time. forever intertwine space time. forever intertwine Mark Brawl, that was Citrus the Drunken Prophet featuring symbolic with space time and who better to lead it off than space time? <laughs> Man, so that shit really brought me back you know, to like, you know, when I first started getting back into hip hop, you know, fucking, uh, fucking Sage Francis idea, fucking, um, I don't know, the, uh, the fucking second dude. He really reminded me of somebody I can't fucking think of who. But and regardless, regardless, man, um, I like it, dude. I like that shit. Uh, when the first dude came in, um, I was unsure. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like, I don't know. He just didn't sound like. <sighs> I guess I didn't realize that that was his style. You know what I'm saying? Like he almost sounded like. <laughs> On the unseasoned, unpolished, you know, unsure of himself, where he lacked the confidence to fucking spit with that aggression or whatever. But like, as his verse and shit went on, um, it was like, okay, like this is this is actually pretty fucking slick. And then like that hook came in, and I was like, yeah, this is this is real fucking tight. Um, so I became a fan. Like, <laughs> I started out not a fan, but as the song progressed, man, I, I got really into it. So I'm gonna give this one a yes, man. I I like this shit. For real, like, they really took me back, man. I like this. That's like a super yes today. Getting that from fucking Space Case today. He's been a fucking oh, shit, dick. Right? God damn, <laughs> Fuck. Nasty. Uh, the beat was nice. I really liked, really liked that beat. The hook, the hook, I also really liked the hook. Um, verse one, I, I was also kind of unsure of it at first. And then um, towards the end, it kind of, it, it got, it was like, all right, I see what you're doing. Um, verse two, like the way you were delivering it, it almost felt like some of the words were more rushed and it weren't getting the attention they, that 
you know the the emphasis that they may have needed but it was like it was nice though like it it the longer like the the more i heard you the more i saw that that's just how you fucking i don't know it it, it was it was a good track i'm gonna give it a yes um yeah i that's, that's all i gotta say about that one i'll be bumping Yo, 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 yo. Uh, it was whack. <laughs> That's yeah. right, Bumper. You tell him. You tell yeah. him. I'm going to have to be straight up, man. Is there a McDonald's around your area hiring? <laughs> kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was dope. It should have been obvious that was dope. The beat. Like, especially, like, the percussion side of the beat. <laughs> yeah, uh, a long time ago, I tried to make, and I still am trying to do this, but I tried to make a beat using, like, uh, the Magitech research facility uh, sound, the background music on Final Fantasy 3. Oh, well, Final Fantasy 6. But uh, that sort of reminded me of, like, sounded like banging on hammers and steel and shit and uh, the bars were dope. I w- just like these guys, I was kind of unsure right away because just just on principle, whenever I hear like a raspy voiced rapper, it's like, here we go, dude. Another bumping. Another bumping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Here comes another fucking Violent J coming out here. <laughs> but no, it was dope. Uh, the second guy was dope as hell, too. He reminded me of... Uh, Mars actually <laughs> kind of reminded me of Mars a little bit uh, at first. Just the uh, I don't know. If, it wasn't like the cadence or nothing. It was just kind of the sound of his voice. Oh, what? <laughs> just a little bit. Not not like always Mars. Uh, trying to remember. Uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Mars. Yeah. Well, not not like Mars on our, our track, Mars. Like Whatever. Dollar Store Mars. Yeah, or the Mars that we saw at Wendy's and <laughs> yeah, we see doppelgangers of people we know like fucking everywhere. Uh, we went to a Wendy's uh, in Green Bay, and um, one of the employees looked like a female version of ODB. Like, I'm not even shitting you. And then we saw this other guy or bumping right after I pointed that out. He was like, "That guy looks like Mars if he was fat." And it, Fucking did like it did, yeah. <laughs> My but, bad for interrupting, but yeah. So I, I assume you're giving that a yes then, Bo. Um. Okay, yeah. I just won't elaborate anymore on it. I'll just no, you can it. elaborate. You just got in. <laughs> you got interrupted and didn't interrupt back. No, I wanted to say uh, the end part, where it's like uh, where you did like the the quieter, and you got quieter, and you let the beat like. You like it, it allowed the beat to like pop out a little more to me, I guess. And that's how I, when I heard the, how the percussion really fucking sounded to me. Like I wasn't tripping. It did sound like Final Fantasy VI. <laughs> or it did remind me of it. Uh, it was dope. Uh, I'm going to say, yeah. 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 Um, it's actually, now that you mention it, Space, Sage Francis is like the perfect reference to me as far as like who this would remind me of um both stylistically and like beat choice wise like i fucking love that beat that beat was fire as hell um yeah and i think that like yeah i think that the um you guys both both attacked it in um you know like your own unique way and i think it's like it's clear that like because I, I can definitely see what they're saying about, like, the raspy tone, because it's, like, there is a lot of... And it's not your fault, because that's just how you sound, but there's so many people that try to sound that way that don't sound that way, and it ends up sounding bad. So I think a lot of times the first preconception when somebody hears you for the first time, is, especially if they've listened to a lot of underground hip-hop, is going to be like, oh, great, another angry white guy. Um but you um you back it up with the fucking like a rapper yeah exactly but you you back it up with a fucking um 
really, really dope flow and, and vocabulary. Like I really, uh, I think you, you keep the listener captivated um, in a lot of different ways. Um, and I think the hook was fucking super on point, like super fucking dope. Like a really, really great build around. Um, yeah, this track was this track was fucking all around yeses for me because it's definitely in the vibe of kind of music that I like to listen to. It's nice to get a fucking dope boom bap track that's that's done well um, on the show. Um, we're only an hour and a half in, and then finally fucking something something finally. for the pastorine, something for the pastorine, and that's not dissuading anybody that makes other kinds of music from setting their stuff in. You want to hear it all, but uh, it it does. It's kind of like that extra. Like if your favorite fucking flavor is chocolate ice cream, like and you like ice cream and you get vanilla, 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 but then when you get that chocolate, you're like, fuck yeah. Like, yeah, that's... Cuban Pete. Why are you too fucking scared to send a song into our fucking podcast? Quit being a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he knows this exists. Well, actually, he no, he definitely, a, he definitely he has to get a fucking. Exists. He might get a fuck yeah, because just on boom bap alone, especially after a whole night of fucking. <laughs> Diabolical Trico. Well, anyway, uh, I thought that was dope. It's yes. It's definitely in the second in a row. Fuck bro. Fuck bro. Fuck bro. Fuck bro. Hey. That's two time. Two time fuck bros. Fuck what bro. do we got next? Nate Nasty. We got four more, I believe. I don't fucking know, man. I I, I can only count so high. And four is not that height. Maybe it'll be three. Once you're higher than one. that. I can't count anymore. Oh, that's too many. Yeah. We gotta get somebody uh, back. Uh, uh, uh. So next up, we got Phil Sherman with "Paint the Picture," featuring Gruesome and Gibby Stites. All right. Let me know when you guys are in, and I'll press play. Amen. Oh, you said I'm in. I thought you said I'm in. I was like, homie over here praying and shit. This is not how I thought it would go. I got through it, but the dark nearly swallowed my soul. But in the moment, I was so lost. But it was my own. I've stretched out the canvas, I'm ready to go and paint the picture of my life now that I'm in control And in this moment I feel so strong, needed this for so long Every day's a new canvas, give me a chance to try to explain it Early in life I know which pain is not my story, let me paint it Single mom, trailer park, no dad, birthmark, poverty and early death that's a hell of a start, living with my aunt, learn that family isn't always blood, you can only abuse someone so before they've had enough, emancipation didn't work, and military was the only option, I was all I had, so I was never stopping, see I was born close, so I had to turn to pyrotechnics, wind up in a studio, so I had to record my message, see I'm a pro now, you are just a pro now, doing shows all over the nation, I'm bigger than my hometown, selling shirts, never dope, Working on a daily, now I created something spark you pay me. Cause you used to laugh at me before I had a buzz. So here's a picture to remind you who I was. This is not how I thought it would go. I got through it, but the dark nearly swallowed my soul. But in the moment I was so lost, but it was my own fault. I've stretched out the canvas, I'm ready to go. Paint the picture of my life now that I'm in control And in this moment I feel so strong Needed this for so long Uh, Let me paint this, think of my existence As a kid I was not gifted with a family to live with But my parents often had to struggle with addiction When I was 11, my dad called a 10 year sentence I ain't been the same since, now I ain't the same since Open up the notebook, fill up every page with the pain I was cursed with Turned out to be a blessing, use it as my paint And with that I teach these lessons Hot dog was always low, same clothes I always wore Same shoes from the year before, they don't really hit me though 
and I can hear the haters. I have my own plans. Now I'm selling merch back then I was selling old fans. I say this to every artist, be grateful for your fans. Whether you got two or three or a group of people, go ahead. But everyone believed in it. You, I did not see it then. But now I see this picture of my life I made for me and them. This is not how I thought it would go. I got through it, but the dark nearly swallowed my soul. But in the moment, I was so lost. But it was my own fault. I've stretched out the canvas, I'm ready to go. Paint the picture of my life now that I'm in control And in this moment I feel so strong Needed this for so long That was Phil Sherman with Paint the Picture featuring Gruesome and Gibby Stites. I be bumping. Yo, 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 that was Nat. Okay, you cut out again. As, there you oh, go. Now you're in. I said that was nice. That was dope. Uh, yeah, man, that was sick as hell. Uh, yeah, Gruesome was a familiar name. Uh, remember uh hearing them on some sick fucks tracks and uh if i remember correctly sick fucks is out of minnesota so that was dope and then uh gibby you know you could tell you know when gibby's like he's got a unique voice to me like i know he's a chopper there's a lot of like choppers out there but like i could tell gibby's voice like right off the bat uh i thought that song was dope that chorus was probably the best chorus we heard all night. And that was a really fucking good chorus. Uh, definite yes for me. Uh, I want to know who produced it. Does it say? Oh, that uh, was pretty safe. Nate Asti. Um, I love that. I also love that hook. I believe that was gruesome on the hook. Yes. Um cuz verse 1 um all right so both verses I feel like I think verse 2 was Gibby I'm guessing. Yes. Pretty sure yeah. Um Yeah. So both verses had some like real shit in them. They're talking about their lives, you know. And I fucks with that. Um <clears throat> However, I do feel like verse 1 needed needed a little bit more work on the delivery like what we were talking about like what they touched on earlier about like rehearsing it before you record it until you get it down um it was like it was a solid verse though um yeah the beat was it was okay it didn't really it didn't like make the song for me or anything but um yeah that hook that hook is what made the song for me so that's a yes for me all right, Jester X's beats. Man, I so this it's a very real fucking song. Um, they both spoke on some really real shit. Well, if the person who did the hook was a, a different person, then he also spoke on some some pretty real shit as well. Um it's just man, like this track could have been so fucking dope. Like, I feel like this track could have been, like, a super powerful track. Um, I just, I feel like it's it's not quite there to have the impact that it fucking should. Um, I feel like, I don't know, man, I feel like I've heard Gibby before, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I mean, oh, he sounded pretty fucking good on this, I suppose. But, like, I don't know, man, he just, on some shit, he fucking shines. Like, I've heard him um, especially on some of the ciphers and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, he comes fucking proper. Um, I just, I don't know. Like, I, it feels like his energy wasn't there for this one. And then, like, I think, once again, I think some of it's with the engineering. I'm not 100% sure. But then also, um, the first verse, like, I feel like, you know, kind of like uh, what Nate was saying, you know, the delivery wasn't quite there. Um, and, man, like, it really, I really wish it was because, like, for real, like this track could have been 
this track could have been something fucking spectacular. Um, that beat alone is like, it's fucking powerful. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, um, but I, I have to give it a no, man, just because like, I don't know, I, I was disappointed. Uh, like the hook, man, that hook could have been so fucking dope. I just, I feel like the energy isn't there, man. So, I mean, that's just me, I suppose, but, you know, that's just how I feel about it, so I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say no. Fair enough. Um, so yeah, first off, I'm gonna say, and I'm surprised no one else mentioned this, the song is called Paint the Picture. Why are you using AI art for the cover art for Paint the Picture? That's the one, like, what the fuck? That, like, the first thing that came to my head that, like, I, it was hard for me to get out of my brain. Um, but, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't put the two together, but I saw the art and I was like, oh, fuck it. Yeah, I it. you can tell, and the guy's got, like, eight fingers on the one hand. Um, but anyway, um, beat was fucking mad nice. I thought the beat was fucking sick. Um, I think first verse, I agree, was missing a little bit of polish, but I like a lot of what, you, like, I like the content. I think the content was really, really strong, really, really powerful. Um, I think, like, in the, the space way of thinking, um, to me, it's not like you're you're going from being a track that I would say no to to a track I would say yes to. To me, it's a track that I would say yes to anyway. Like, I thought this track was very, very it was solid, but it is like, I understand where he's coming from. Cause I do feel like there were some things that could have, could have made this the track of the night. This could have been like the, holy fuck. We just heard a couple of amazing tracks and this one blew those out of the water. Like, holy fuck. Um, it was a good song. It could have been an incredible song to me with a few minor tweaks. One, uh, I think the delivery just polished up a little bit on that first verse. It wasn't, it wasn't like way out of way out way out of pocket or anything like that. It was just a little smidge, like a few parts you could tweak. Um, I think the the second verse, um, just energetically wise, I think like just on the delivery, like I think everything he was saying and where he put the words was correct. But I think the the oath, like a what the what the fuck does Nate always call it? You don't have that. What do you call it? Stank. The stank. He didn't put enough stank on it. Um, I, I feel like he could have put more stank and then that goes like double for the hook. Cause I think the hook, like what you're saying is fucking incredibly dope. Um, I think it could have popped out a lot more, especially over a beat like that. Like if this was over a, a little bit more of a chill beat, I think that that delivery definitely works, but this is like fucking mighty Morphin power ranger theme song beat. Um, so like, I need a little bit of Mighty Morphin Power Ranger theme song energy, um, in that hook, especially like if not in the verses, definitely in the hook, I would have liked it's more heard, time. I would have heard some fucking more energy in there and I, I, that would have got me like fucking amped as fuck. Um, but I think content wise, all three of you delivered in a big way. I think you guys definitely like fucking delivered on content big time. I think lyrically this, this track was very, very sound. Um, I think it, it just, yeah, it's like it, the, yeah, and it's like the only reason I'm even touching on it so much is because of, like, how much potential there could be for this to be something that's, like, really, like, this is the track that people know you for kind of track. This could have been that kind of track right. to me, um, and I think that it's just, it's missing a little je ne sais quoi, but otherwise, like, fucking dope track, man. Definitely keep sending us fucking music. I'm gonna give it a yes. Um... You know, I think Space Case on a on a night where he, you know, he isn't fucking pissed off at the world definitely gives you a yes too, and you get, you know, you get four yeses. But he's been a he's been a tough judge tonight. You know, he's he's been on a Simon Cowell shit, and that's just it's the fucking way the cookie crumbles sometimes. But um, fucking good shit from all of you guys, and uh, yeah, what do we got next, Nasty? We got uh. The homie I Rock sent in by your side off the Bars on Beats project from 2022. Hell yeah, I don't think I've heard this one. Sorry, unless yeah. I've heard it live. Sorry this is to a bring Spotify this up. link. Can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry to bring this up now, but that Ties You Love song reminded me of I Rock. Yeah, like if I Rock mm -hmm. sounded like Jocko. 
<laughs> yeah, if like I Rock was a completely different person with a completely different style of rap and and uh, instrumentals, and you know. Sure. Anyway, oh, by yeah. your side, I Rock. Let's check it out. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. This is for anyone dealing with depression. Sometimes it comes from loss. Sometimes it's triggered by something that seems trivial. You never know. Listen to this. I'm right there with you. Someone close to you, it can make you unapproachable Won't pretend to know what you're going through I'm just rhyming in the vocal booth I told the truth, and most of you Been past the tough crossroads or two Or three or four, there's probably more Not prepared for what life has in store How could you ever be truly prepared To lose someone when they have always been there Don't know what to do, can say that I'm scared Heard it before, but life isn't fair The ones who are gone are the people who care And we'll never get back the moments we share We live in the moment, cause soon it's not there Till we disappear right into thin air is always a struggle robbed of my energy how do i hustle three steps forward then i fumble gotta stay strong cause the heart is a muscle don't want trouble but it finds me used to find life so exciting now i'd rather just be hiding can't figure out just why i'm crying quietly turn to a lump on the couch got places to go not leaving the house what's wrong with me can't figure it out was up for anything but now i'm just down down in the dumps for so many reasons daylight saving change of the season so many things that'll keep me uneven truly amazed that i'm still even breathing to get you through the dark and for those started by a single spark comes from the passion inside of your heart use it to get up for all situations because music is helpful for your motivation really is more help than some entertainment this devil's music that embraces the same you can relate with the statements i'm making and you have the power to deal with some changes won't be complacent i won't say to take it if you got a problem then we're gonna face it truly elated the friends that i've made it given some bases a solid foundation every day that i get up i made it my mind is the toughest of all that i'm facing and that's real Life's constantly moving and changing. Only things you can control is your attitude and your effort. So go get it. That is By Your Side by Ibrock, the party monster. Just directs The piece. party monster. Man, so the the beats, I was going to touch on these beats. Um, the beat fucked with me. And like, because as soon as I heard that piano line, I was like, this is a very odd piano line. Like, where's this going to go? Like, it, it can't go anywhere. It's just going to be this over and over and over. <laughs> but I mean, like, there was a build, there was a progression. And, uh, and, and so, I mean, it was well put together. Um, the engineering of the beat could have been better. The engineering of the track overall could have been better, I think. I don't know. I'm starting to think that maybe it is my fucking headphones. I'm not quite sure. Not on but this one. The engineering definitely did. What's that? Not on this one. You're, you're right. The engineering? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, man, the hook... So there were a lot of spots in this track that just felt offbeat. Um, and like it's, I don't know if it's IROC's lackadaisical flow or if it's, 
or if it's really just not hitting on beat. But the hook definitely didn't, it just didn't sound like it was on. Um, and like I rock, he's, he's lyrical. Like he's poetic. Like, I mean, like he, he's, there's a lot of substance in his lyrics. Um, but I just, I feel like he doesn't, I don't know, man. He just, the way he executes just doesn't always hit. You know what I'm saying? And this is definitely one of the tracks where it didn't, definitely didn't hit. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of things in this track that could definitely be tuned up to make it and just even have more of an impact. Um, but for me, I'm going to I'm gonna say no on this one. All right. Nate Nasty. Yo. Um, so subject and like the actual content is fucking phenomenal, I think. Um, I just don't think it was executed perfectly, like as as well as it could have been. Uh, the beat didn't kind of didn't keep me like fixed on the song, but um, I I really really fucked with the lyrics and what you were saying. It was just uh, yeah, the, the execution. Um, that hook. Uh, it reminds me, it, it almost, it's like, it's like I rock featuring Ivy Bumpin's wife. It's kidding. Bumpin leaves the no, room. Uh, hey! I, you got something you want to tell me? Face, but it's nothing new. Yeah. <laughs> um, I like the hook, though. It was just, uh, it, like, I think I think it could have very well just been the mixing and the engineering, um, or maybe just like sing it different. Um, I don't know. I just feel like that like it wasn't executed in the best manner. But uh, so I'm gonna give this one a no. I'll be bumping. Yo, yo, yo. Can you hear me? Yo, yo, yes. yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, um, I liked it. There was a vibe. Um, it's only saying that because just recently fucking sent him a track that had me and my old lady fucking singing the chorus like that. So he's like, you know. I thought it was funny. I thought they sounded alike, even, but no disrespect to your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just thought it was fucking funny. Yeah, no, it was funny. Cause I, I knew what you were gonna say, <laughs> but uh, it was pretty dope. I liked it. Um, the beat though it was a little too old school. You know what I mean? It was a little too I. But regardless, it was, you know, I it just the beat was like really simple-ish, simplistic compared to the verses, you know, like like uh, I don't know, it, it, but it did give room, I think, for us to like hear the the lyrics a lot and not get too attached to the beat. Uh, it was. Um, it um definitely was a different vibe than the rest of the songs tonight because it was the it was on that that real shit. Uh, I know you caught all our attentions like right off the bat, you know, because it's like we all do miss people, you know, that are gone. So it was, a, you know, it's it pretty good. Uh, I feel like it probably um it probably could have went without the end uh just because it uh, it felt like it already ended and then uh you had the the female lead come in and then just kind of go over the course one more time um so it was almost like a double ending and nothing wrong with that i guess but i just feel like you you already 
you guys already did your thing and when the beat ended but um you know it was a different vibe i must say yeah though because i got you fam i was feeling that this is a night where bump and says yes to everybody um no, really? no I'm just saying. <laughs> oh no i I did say yeah to that one. But yeah, you said yes to everything so far. So anyway, um, <laughs> I the first thing I want to touch on, and because it's something that I, I noticed because I listened to his entire last project that dropped. And his last project, I fucking loved. Like, the instrumentation. I love what he did. The only thing that was missing was the fucking engineering for me. So it's it seems to be a habitual need for, for you, IROC, to have... Um, just a more quality sound engineer because it's like, I feel like watching you live and then listening to your tracks. I don't think a lot of times the engineers are doing you justice for what I've seen um, to, to be what you're about, you know, in a lot of the cases. And same thing with like the, the cypher verse you dropped. I thought the cypher verse you dropped was fucking fire. And I think like, obviously like Lingo's a professional fucking mix engineer. So it's like it, you can really, you get the best out of what you're doing. Um, the other note I would give you with your particular delivery that I would be curious to hear how it sounds. And I understand why you don't do this because it's something that I kind of swapped in the other direction. And now I've been opening the doors back up to again, a little bit more as the punches. You're somebody that spits all of your shit because you're a fucking real MC. And I think that it's good to be able to do it, especially for live shows if you want to do the live tracks. But I would be really curious to hear the kind of inflection that you'd be able to put on, especially with some of your faster flows, um, if you did do some punch-ins, like, so you say the, you know, say you do the first bar, you do the third bar, you do the fifth bar on one track, and then you do the second, fourth, and, you know, whatever on the second track. I'd be really curious to hear, because um, I, I bet you it would make you pop out a lot more, and I think it would give your words a little bit more of that stank. Um, and I, I just, as a listener, would love to hear that from from your stuff because i think content wise 100 percent this track if this was if we were just judging this on content i think everybody would have given this a yes um i think the hook was missing um for me it was quality it was like the the melody did not or the harmony did not fit for me like it didn't and then at the end when her hook came back through that was definitely off beat like i think the most of the time the hook felt kind of where it needed to be but the the strength and the singing um could have could have come up for me just in quality quality wise and that could also be partly due to the engineering um i think um for as simple as the beat was like this is a beat that if i just heard the beat not really my style don't really like it but i do think these kinds of beats really do enhance the kind of style that you have in the sense that you're extremely lyrically dense and you say a lot of words so I think that having the simpler beats like this is definitely a good style choice for you. Um, and and it, it sounds good and it complements well. It's just having that third element of an engineer that would really fucking put this into a, an area where I would, I'd want to listen to it again. Because like for me, like I didn't dislike this track by any means, dude, but it's not something I'd want to add to the playlist just because of the sound quality and the execution is just not entirely there. Especially for somebody that knows how you get down when you rock a stage. So it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, man, I really want to hear like the, the full final form unleashed version of IROC um, in recorded form because I haven't heard something that was sonically all the way around like this sounds fucking immaculate to me. And I feel like you as an MC and as a, an artist deserve to have something like that um, and deserve to have all your music done that way because you're somebody that obviously gives a fuck. You put a lot of effort into it and your content is really, really fucking good. So it's like, I, I want people to be able to hear that. And for me, like the verses, the beginning of both of the verses were hard for me to pick out what you were saying in a lot of it. And then as they went on, it felt like they got stronger because it became a little bit e easier to pick out what you were saying and, and go like, man, this guy's saying some fucking real shit. Um, so I, I got to give it a no based on the, the polish of the track, but man, I would love to give it a yes. Cause I think overall, like the whole, the concept, the execution and everything like that, it's a very touching joint. I think it's very, could be a very powerful joint similar to the last one that we heard. It's just, it's missing that execution in a couple areas that I feel like as a listener, I really need to hear. 
Um, and the last thing I want to touch on, which is completely unrelated to the track, um, is, and this isn't just because we didn't just do this as like a fucking setup, is like a, we genuinely do here at Fuck Bro try to give you guys like our fucking real opinion. And like, I rock is somebody that we all fucking respect. Look at the kitty, I rock. Look at the kitty. We all respect Iraq greatly here. Um, he's he's definitely a homie. We put him on fucking shows. He's our fucking dude. Um, it don't matter who you are. If you send fucking music in here, we're gonna tell you exactly how we feel about it and be honest. And it's the same thing that we do for each other behind the scenes when we're sharing tracks. It's like not every track I've ever fucking sent to Space Case has been something that he's liked or loved or, or otherwise. Not every track I've sent to Nasty or fucking Bump has blown them away. So. I just want artists to know that, like, because we've had to deal with this a little bit with people getting, you know, really, really offended or, or upset, because I do understand this is your art, this is something you clearly give a fuck about if you're going through all the effort of recording and putting this shit out there and marketing it, you care. Um, don't take us saying, hey, we, you know, this is missing this, or we don't like this because of X, Y, Z as a an attack on you as an artist or a person or any of that kind of stuff. It's just genuinely like as artists, we feel like this is something that we can do to give back that. What the fuck would we want? We're lucky that we have a family like this. That's very, very open with each other and willing to say, Hey man, that ain't it. Or you're missing this, or this needs engineering help, or this needs X, Y, Z. Um, and fortunately it leads us to, I think a better product at the end of the day. And it's to be able to offer that to as many people as are willing to send us music and listen to that. Yeah. Um, we like to do that. So um, we hey. appreciate everybody sending but, stuff in and, and, and yeah. It's, uh, also know that we don't always take each other's advice though too. You know, that's so true. Guys, yeah. And you don't always have to take our advice. Like black rappers beliefs right. too. I'm not gatekeepers, you know, at all. What yeah, gate are what gate are we fucking yeah. keeping, bro? What gate are we fucking keeping? Yeah. What what do we have control over? Fucking absolutely dick fuck all. If you hate us and you think we're fucking Hold keeping on. a gate, Hold on. go you do said, your own fucking shit. You said gatekeeping and you didn't I did say, say no I did say gatekeeping yeah. at first. But you're the only person that picked up on it. I thought I could slide through with that one and I would get a oh, yeah. message about it like next week when he's fucking watching the episode. Like, <laughs> you said fucking gatekeeper, no diddy. Like, <laughs> fucking, yeah, well, well, Jocko, you, you fucking, gatekeeper, Jocko, uh, you recorded me in a bathroom with my pants fingers. down, so, just know, I can this fucking. This episode eat. has been brought to you by Jockless Monster Sausage Pizza. Jockless Monster Sausage that Pizza. Is all. One man's trash is another man's Click pizza. Click on the link below. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, gentlemen, without further ado, we got two more joints. What do you guys think? Do we got time? How long we've been running? We've been running for two hours. I, I got I got them written down. If you guys wanna um, wait till next week, if, otherwise I, I'm willing to keep going. How do you guys feel? I feel like we should have we'll close out with one more. We can't just one fucking... more. All right, we'll close out with one more, and we'll let Nate pick between the two that he has up because I saw them, and uh, I, I don't be want to be influencing. You can't say that. You just have to say <laughs> one of the two. So, Nate Nasty, without further ado, who's our last track? Who's closing out this episode of Fuck Bro? Noxus with Your Revival. Ooh, it's the diss track? Just kidding. <laughs> you guys might know Noxus is the man who lost the first ever Fuck Bro Battle of the Beef with yeah, Brody Dudester. So, let's see if he's bounced back here with Your Revival. Is that his revival? <laughs> I see what you did there. Mm.
you ever been in a situation or position where you feel like you're hated and everyone's out to get you my conscience is leaking even narcissist samples tissue boxes in the evenings but Tommy blocks it by leaving beating the steaming heavy breathing from screaming fuck we're supposed to be a team believe me you mean everything to me I bleed out my chest till there's nothing left in me that meant that you'd be happy when this stress attacks me I put my back to the fence and I get aggressive but it doesn't mean that I'm unhappy it means I've already passed the test nested in the deepest depths of extreme depression you're affected left with unintention no rejection of self-protection method of form of formal tension I've been beaten horribly till my morals bleed deceit but beat it by the force of me now you see it Knox is the abnormal immortal me yeah I'm fresh off the ground formerly known as Tommy reborn with no remorse or threshold till I'm crowned at that will lock him out I'll be the fucking king this time around We finally meet face to face. It's fucking great that we threw away a clean slate with accusations. We'd make some days you make me wanna take it, neck it, shake it until it breaks and then revive you. Cause I love you way more than a pile of mistakes. I wish it you could take a day and live in my shoes to feel the pain that I do. So you could have a new insight on my views of life. So you can see why I do what I do and choose to fight before I fly and never lose the spine. A few internal screws that I have loose. From hurtful new verbal abuse that lasts forever in my mind If you get up by hurting me, that's fine But let me remind you that I'm a verbally murder you With words that are fucking burn you alive from the eternal Like a furnace ignites burning your insides behind your sternum If you try, I bet you'll find that I'm actually a nice person Till you hurt me, then I turn into a German Nazi version From Tommy to Nazis, cut them up worse than a surgeon Shove them in boxes and stop the brain up the sockets. I think I know why Brody smashed your boo. New man in the present, yeah, the past is the past. Some resentment stands for some, but now they're just some ants in the grass. I rise up and stand above them like I give a fuck if I was banned from your love. I just stick my middle finger up and tell them fuck them, cause I know I'm worth something. Nah, All right, that was Noxus with your revival, Nate Nasty. What do you think? Nah, nah, you lost that beef. And to see why Brody did what he did. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Is you? I can't. No, just no. Okay, I'd be bumping. I'm gonna just come out and say this right now um it wasn't super horrible but i feel like maybe the verses were you know <laughs> uh did you uh breathe at all when you were spitting that or because <laughs> every verse is just one sentence long one sentence just one <laughs> homie long. doesn't know what punctuation is <laughs> no, but I mean those obvious punchings, but you know it was like oh, um, <laughs> I'm gonna blame Nate though for picking it. <laughs> <laughs>
because we gave him a choice. Right. <laughs> <They're motherfucking. laughs> only Pesto knew the options. Fuck y'all. I, I only knew that was one of them. I didn't see what the other one was, but I, I had a oh. feeling this is what we would get based on prior <laughs> weeks and experience. Was that an Anno Domini beat? No. <laughs> it sounded like something that had a. Well, it came, it came with the hook. That, on yeah, yeah, it definitely it came with the hook. I think the hook was the best that? part of it, but when I realized that it just came with the beat, I was like. Um, Noxus, man. This, this was not you your me revival. Or, you my got friend. me, uh. Like. I feel like that part where you said you were gonna strangle her and then bring her back to life and all that, it's like, damn, man, chill. Chill. Domestic. <laughs> Are you talking about the same one that Brody, uh. <laughs> Oh, you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you it's not, it wasn't horrible, man. I, I think we just all had the pre uh, preemptive uh, judgment, you know. But I'm gonna have to say no, man. Knox is stepping up, dude. Welcome Come to on. the only no of the night from IB Bumper. Right. Jester Exodus beats. Well, I uh, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> um, man, I I don't know, man. I mean, we've heard Knox spit before, so I mean, we know not every fucking flow is like this. You know what I mean? Um, but you should never do this in a song. Like, I mean, I feel like you need to break your shit up, especially. You can't do this for three verses. Like you can't just go word to word to word to word to word. And then your flow didn't switch up at all, man. Not at all. Um, and it sucks. I feel like Knox just like he's got he's he's displayed a vocabulary. You know what I'm saying? Like he he can he knows words. <laughs> Obviously better than I do because I can't fucking think of what I'm trying to say. Uh and I feel like Knox just has a voice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like those two things, if he could just learn to fucking get those things to to collaborate together. I don't know. It's like he's got a bunch of other, I, I don't know. He's missing all the other white wing or something. I don't fucking know. But man, like, I feel like he could potentially be something. You know what I'm saying? Not saying like rich and famous or anything like that, but I mean, he could potentially be nice on the mic. He could be um, gooder. A gooder, yeah. He could be. <laughs> he could be gooder. Yeah. More, more nicer. Um. Yeah, but this is definitely not it. So that's that's a no. The long version of a short story. A no. Yeah, I think content wise and like lyrically, definitely. I think if not the best, near the top of what we heard from him. Um, and I agree with Space that there is, like, there is redeemable qualities in it. Like, I think your voice is definitely, it sounds like, when you're delivering stuff, the voice you're delivering it in sounds natural. It sounds like it could be a dope uh, hip-hop voice. Um, I think vocabulary-wise, in some of your bars, you definitely have the capacity to be, to be clever and be all the things that an MC needs to be. Um, I do think that, like, it's hard to say exactly what it is, because I do think, like, it, it's, a, it's a song by song basis, so it's hard for me to give you, like, hey, this is what you should do to kind of get yourself there, because obviously, like, if you're doing this, you've listened to a lot of fucking hip-hop, so I, would, I wouldn't be like, hey, go listen to some fucking hip-hop and see how other people do it, because it's not, you're not trying to be somebody else, and that's one thing I can say I do appreciate as well, is that you're clearly not trying to be anybody else but yourself, um, which is dope, but... Yeah, the verses feels like that, you know, like, we've all been there. If we've had an Etch-A-Sketch where you try to fill the whole motherfucker with all black, the whole, like, you want to use the entire space of the Etch-A-Sketch. It's like, man, negative space, you know, is, is really, really important in music, especially in hip-hop. Because if you're saying something of any kind of substance, you need to give a listener time to let that kind of, to breathe. And it's not like giving them fucking three or four seconds. Sometimes it's a half second. Sometimes it's you know, whatever, but just having a little bit of breaks and the changing in flows too. It's like you, you kind of sound like a, an engine, 
you know, like you're like a dirt bike. You start as a and it's idling the whole time. There's no, you know, there's no change in what you're doing. And I think that that's something that you definitely, those are tools that you need to add. It's not about the stank. It's like there's just tools you need to add to your toolbox as far as diversity and and just like the um, ability to switch stuff up. And I I don't know if it's that you write, because it sounds like as a writer, you definitely have some skill. I think it's, I don't know if it's a situation where you're writing stuff, because we've talked about this before, where you're writing stuff not to a beat and then you're trying to make it fit on a beat. Or you're listening to the beat and you're trying to fill all of the space um, or what it is, but finding a better balance and kind of just like a little bit more of that confidence in what you're saying and, and not because if you're confident in what you're saying, you don't need to say like an infinite amount of words all the time. You know, like I, I definitely pack my fair fucking share of words into some songs, you know, and, and it's, there's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, in small doses, but it's like you got to break it up with changes and flows, delivery, um, rhyme scheme, all that kind of stuff. It's like the the same pattern the entire way through. It, it there's no better way to put it than it, it just gets boring as a listen. Um, and I think that as as an artist, our goal is to captivate. It's to get people to want to listen to what they're listening to, um, and not listening to it because they like us or because they feel like they have to or morally obligated. So I think that like. You definitely do have some of the intangibles, and I, I, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't say like fucking give it up, man. You definitely don't have anything going for you, but it's like it, there's just a little bit more well-rounded, and, and man, I mean, like honestly, the, the best thing in his heart, it's easier said than done, is like having a mentor, having somebody in the studio with you that is polished and, and kind of does know what they're doing um, a little bit more to, to give you guidance as you create. I think would be. Um, super beneficial so if you have anybody in your network that you look up to as an artist and respect um that you know you could get in the studio with that's that's probably the next step i would take if i was trying to take you from where you are to where you potentially could be and i think that patch it up with brody man no i somebody somebody that that has a little bit more um and not even just brody because brody's only been rapping so long too i'm talking about like a space case somebody that's been doing this for i feel fucking, like i could a generation these lyrics pop out pretty good too yeah or ivy bumping like these guys have been doing this for a fucking generation i'm not talking about stems i'm talking about like sitting in a studio with somebody and creating the music i think oh, that that too, like, but i'm just saying just for this song specifically because you could tell the pungens you know it's right, but I don't think that saves this song by fixing the the engineering. I think the song. Well, no, I mean, I would probably just top off yeah. some words. <laughs> I I would say this song is just objectively bad. Yes, and What's it's because of because of those things, and it's not because you. I don't know. It's weird green screen technology that we're working on here. It's proprietary it's stuff, like... fuck bro, that's working on. Um, but yeah, anyway, we do appreciate you continuing to send music in, even though I know we haven't given you the most sterling reviews. Um, I hope that you're kind of taking some of the feedback that you do get. I know like some people don't, we don't always all have something to say, you know, that's that's constructive. But we, I think between the four of us, there's usually at least one or two things that you can take and, and potentially implement or, uh, you know, put onto the altar of voodoo dolls that you're constructing of the Fuck Bro podcast to really fucking chap the ass of the people that are detracting from your greatness, if that's what you think is going on. So um, I, I, I do I do appreciate the, the continued support of everybody uh, that has been sending music into the show. I mean, fucking today I made a post and we did not have nearly enough time to get through all the songs that we had. We have plenty for next week too. So um, appreciate everybody continuing to send stuff in. There will be a link below. The email that's fuckbropodcast at gmail.com, F O K bro podcast at gmail.com for anybody to send music in. Um, and I'll, I'm, I'm doing a little bit better this week, so hopefully I can get back on my fucking duties of backline work and get everything looking nice, getting the fucking post tags so everybody sees this shit and everybody that got music reviewed can see this fucking podcast and share it with their friends and tell them those dickheads didn't like my song or. These fucking assholes love me. So fuck you. You made a whole podcast about me. Yeah, there's a couple people out there like that. (laughs) But anyway, I won't keep you guys any longer. It's been two hours and 20 minutes here. Before we go, before we go, I got to tell you guys something. 
Do you guys all want to just say fuck you, Nasty, and dip out of the call? No. <laughs> it's 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 been me under the mask the whole time. Holy oh, shit, dude, it's Nate Nasty! Oh my god, bro! Holy oh, bro, fuck! Bro, I thought it was DJ walking out, bro. Oh my god, you I thought fat was... bitch. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought that was K-Blaze the whole time, bro. Holy <laughs> fucking shit. That's why you were all shook. Yeah, dude, all fucking shook, dude. <laughs> I felt the pressure. Shook, bro. I felt I'm all pressure. Sure you were fucking five foot four Penis-shaped head ginger with the fucking leprechaun beard. Yeah, it could have been that too. Yeah, it rhymes with Maine lobster. Do a thousand, a thousand fucking push-ups in fucking forty-five minutes. Forty, dude. Give him this fucking credit where credit is fucking due. Old train spotter, bro. Do you know how to fucking boil oil? Do you know how much fucking work (laughs) it takes to boil oil? Jesus. Anyway, this has been another episode of Fuck Bro Podcast. (laughs) Fuck bro! Fuck bro! Fuck bro! bro. Oh. Go. Wake up bro! Come on, take another drink with me!